What's up gamers? GamerDot here. This is a guide to help you complete the Begun the Clone Wars Have quest. Visit different named locations. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button, show me that support. As well, please do consider using my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDot, all capitals, all one word. Thanks so much for your support. So for this challenge, you need to visit nine of the 12 named locations. Named locations are these uh, locations on the map that have, you know, big names there and also they're marked for you right now. And you must visit nine of the 12 you can't visit the same location twice it will not count and the nice thing is though you don't have to track it because once you visit a location it will come off of the map so as long as you have this quest highlighted you will see the locations that you still have to choose from so visiting as well just means you simply have to get within the proximity of the poi so you don't have to like be in the dead center of it you know you don't have to try to get right on top of where the name is on the mini map or on the actual map itself as you can see, I'm south of Frenzy Fields right now, but I'm close enough to have triggered um, my first of nine locations visited right there. Now, you can use a vehicle and you could probably visit mm, maybe even all nine in one match. It could be a little tough, but you could definitely visit the vast majority of them just by driving on the roads. Um, if you want to do something like that, get yourself a car with lots of gas and then just occasionally check the map. Wherever you're going next, always you know mark that location. That'll help unless you're totally familiar with where you're driving. You can also use a dirt bike, which would be probably a little bit easier than the car because you can go off-roading. You can use things like the Kinetic Blade or the ODM gear. That's also useful. And I actually nail my last or like three of my four um, named locations using the ODM gear and it was great. It was really easy. So I went from Frenzy Fields over here to Mega City. This is two of nine. And then I'm going to finish up this match. I'm going to do a couple matches and not go to any locations. Then in a subsequent match, you know, I was landing near Shattered Slabs quite a lot. And this time I just, you know, showing you I've come into Shattered here. I actually love Shattered Slabs with the grind rails now. So that's three of nine. Now at this point, I did visit another one. And to be honest, I didn't even remember or pay attention to when I was doing it at that point. But this is where I've got the ODM gear and I wanted to go on a bit of a tear. So I'm going to go for Slappy Shores. And as you can see, again, I'm just coming right by that main sign and then heading straight north because I haven't even been in the north of the map anywhere where there's ice or in snow. I haven't even gone there uh, in, since these new challenges dropped. So I'm going to head up from Slappy up to Brutal Bastion. Then I'm going to Lonely Labs. And then I'm going to venture close to or right into the storm to go over to Anvil Square. So I'm at 5 of 9, approaching Brutal Bastion, which will be 6 of 9. And... And there we go. Then I'm going to turn right around and go over to Lonely Labs here. It's actually quite amazing how fast you can move across the map with the ODM gear. It's pretty sweet. From the moment I get across here, there we go, 7 of 9. So like I say, I'm going to turn right back around, boot it way across, come all the way to Anvil Square, which is technically in the storm. Don't be afraid to go into the storm for challenges, by the way, especially if it's early on. Um, this storm takes little damage early on in the uh, storm phases. In fact, in this time, I barely had to go into the storm. So that's 8 of 9. Now I'm just going to load up another match. I'm going to look at what my options are. And like I say, here's my options left. And you will have to visit 9 of 12. So when you're done, you'll only have 3 of these that you didn't visit. And then you're going to just choose the one uh, that's the easiest for you to do. So I'm going to go to Kenjutsu Crossing for my ninth and final named location. And then I'll go finish any other challenges that I have at this point. So it's nice that we don't actually have to remember. Because if you had to remember which ones you went to, that would be a nightmare. So once I land here, the challenge will be complete. I do hope the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like, leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button. Show me that support as well. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. I greatly appreciate your support. Good luck with your challenges. And until the next video, this is GamerDad out.